Let's talk about two common alcohols in organic chemistry. On the left, we have terbutanol. On the right, we have ethanol. The pKa for terbutanol is 18. The pKa for ethanol is 16. Ethanol is the stronger acid because it has the lower pKa value. The question is, why is ethanol so much more acidic than terbutanol? When the pKa differs by 2, think of 10 squared, which is 100. So ethanol is 100 times more acidic than terbutanol. But why is that? Why is it so much more acidic than terbutanol, given that both of these are alcohols? They both have the OH functional group. The only difference that we can see here is that this is a primary alcohol and this is a tertiary alcohol. So why is the tertiary alcohol less acidic than the primary alcohol? Well, let's take a look at the conjugate base. Keep in mind, the stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base. So because ethanol is the stronger acid, the conjugate base of ethanol ethoxide is going to be the weaker base. And since terbutanol is the weaker acid, the conjugate base terbutoxide is going to be the stronger base. So here is terbutoxide, and I'm going to draw it out. So we have a carbon with three methyl groups attached to it. And here is the oxygen atom with three lone pairs and a negative charge. So that is terbutoxide, and here is ethoxide. So terbutoxide is the stronger base. Ethoxide is the weaker base since ethanol is the stronger conjugate acid. So why is terbutoxide the stronger base? Why is it less stable than ethoxide? The weaker base is more stable. It has a lower potential energy. The answer has to do with the title of this video, that is solvating effects. It has to do with the interaction with the solvent. Terputoxide is a bulky base. It's sterically hindered because of all the methyl groups attached to it. Ethoxide, it's not sterically hindered. Because ethoxide is not sterically hindered, it's going to have more solvent interactions than terbutoxide. So because terbutoxide is sterically hindered, it will have less solvent interactions. So let's choose water as our solvent. So the solvent can really interact only in this area with the oxygen. Now, the solvent has the ability of stabilizing the negative charge on the oxygen. Hydrogen is partially positive, and this oxygen atom has a negative charge, so the hydrogen atom can help to stabilize the negative charge. Now, in the case of ethoxide, It's not hysterically hindered as terbutoxide. As a result, we can get more solvent interactions. The more solvent interactions that we can have with the negatively charged oxygen, the more we can stabilize that negative charge. So the more water molecules that we can surround the negatively charged oxygen, the more we can stabilize it. So that's why ethoxide is a weaker base than terbutoxide, is because the oxygen atom is better stabilized by the additional solvent interactions. So because it's not sterically hindered, there are more water molecules that can stabilize the negative charge, making this a weaker base. Terbutoxide because it's bulky and sterically hindered, that bulkiness doesn't allow 
as much solvent interaction. So you have less water molecules stabilizing the negative charge, and that makes this base stronger. So that's why ethanol is a stronger acid than tert-butanol. It's because its conjugate base is weaker and it's more stabilized or better stabilized by the increased solvent interactions that it can form due to the fact that it's not sterically hindered as tert-butoxide. So the lesson here is that the more solvent interactions that a base can have, the more stable the base will be and that base will be weaker. The less solvent interactions that a base can have, the stronger that base will be and the weaker the conjugate acid will be as well. Now for those of you who want to access my extended organic chemistry videos, you can access it at my Patreon membership program at patreon.com slash tutor or in my YouTube membership program, which you can join in the video uh, below. Now if we click on this, organic chemistry posts, it'll show you all my full length organic chemistry videos. So I have this video on pKa values for those of you who are studying acids and bases. For those of you who are just studying organic chemistry, this basic introduction video will really help you get started. And I have some other videos as well, hybridization, resonance structures. The free version of this video is about 20 minutes long on YouTube, but the full length version is about an hour long. Acids and bases, functional groups, Newman projections. The worksheet contains all of the problems in the full length video. Some of you have asked for worksheets. You prefer to work through the problems that way instead of you know watching a long video. So I have it for not all of my videos, but some of them. So we have chair confirmations. Now, for my organic chemistry exam one video, you may have to type it in in the search box to get it. Or if you look at the description section of the referring video, it'll take you directly to that link. But here is the worksheet. Now, if you want to watch a seven hour video, you can do it that way. But if you, if you prefer to print out the worksheet and work through the problems that way, um, you could do that as well. By the way, post a comment in below this video. I want to know what your thoughts are. Do you prefer to watch the seven hour video or do you prefer to study for the exam by getting a printout of the worksheet and working through the problems while you're in school? Let me know in the comment section below. Now I have other videos, stereochemistry, specific rotation, SM1, SM2 reactions. Uh, there's a practice test on that, 77 practice problems. So here's the video with the practice test, but I haven't done the worksheet yet. We got alkene reactions, alkyne reactions, alcohol reactions, radical reactions, and then my organic chemistry one final exam review video. So the video is actually finished, but the worksheet is coming soon. So let me know for those of you who are actually interested in getting these worksheets. Do you prefer to watch a six hour final exam review video, or do you prefer to have a printout of the 100 practice problems and work through it at school? Let me know in the comment section below.